space. Since the dawn of time, we have looked to the stars and thought, Man, fuck those things! You know what we got down here? Video games. I'm Lyle McDouchebag with Destructoid, and I'm here to tell you what video games did. Like, all over the carpet. Overwatch is getting a new character called Doomfist. He's a big man with a big hand, so if you want to punch the shit out of stuff or just like getting slapped around a little, hey, no judgments here, then look forward to this update. He's already been on the public testing region for about a week, so rest assured, you will be screaming, wait, no, shit, Doomfist, why do you keep going in when none of us are with you? At your computer screen in no time. Netflix has already renewed Castlevania for season two. Season one was more like a four episode test run than an actual full season. Still. The action is sick, the animation is nice, the writing is fun, and a baby gets at in one of the scenes, so I highly recommend it. The second season is slated for eight episodes, which means it'll actually feel like a more complete thing. Warframe is getting a pretty major update. The expansion, titled Planes of I Refuse to Fucking Try to Pronounce That, will feature a big playable open world area with lots of different activities to do, which means that the free-to-play sweet art will be the first thing to step up to the plate against that other game. Mm -hmm. Destiny, your throne is made of glass, Destiny. What will you do when you're not the only one there, Destiny? When they realize they never actually liked you. When they realize you're but a psychological trick masquerading as a game, Destiny! Do you remember your father's eyes, Destiny? Nintendo, in one fell swoop, has done a really good thing and committed an actual crime against humanity. Their names respectively are Marina and Pearl, and they're the new characters in Splatoon 2. In a typical baffling Nintendo move, players will choose to side between these two in future community events. Gee, I wonder how that's gonna go when one of them's like, uh, and the other one's all, uh, 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 Ugh, I, I'm upset just looking at this. It's genuinely making my blood pressure rise, so I think we need to... We need to move on. On the topic of Nintendo being characteristically short-sighted, multiple people that, you know, make these things have already started to complain about their latest and greatest baby toy. The creator of Oddworld said that he has no faith in the console, saying he doesn't think people are going to go through the effort to work on a, quote, underpowered console. The developer of a game called A Plague Tale confirmed as much, saying that their game has too many rats for the Switch to make, which is equal parts insightful and disgusting. Leave Lawbreakers developer Danany said that it would be difficult to develop a version for the Switch because it doesn't have enough buttons. Rest assured though, they have since looked at one of the controllers and now know it's got the same amount of buttons as everything else. A couple more, actually. Point still stands that processing power doesn't necessarily mean better games, but if your console's not powerful enough to get ports of the same games every other console is getting, you're giving your competition a huge edge by granting it a much bigger library. Speaking of libraries, read a book once in a while, you idiot, and then come back with your big educated head and Tell me what to call this show. I'm Lyle McDouchebag. This has been a thing. After this week, we're going to be posting these episodes on Thursdays. We'll also have some little sporadic ones, so keep a lookout for those. We're still finding our legs here, so if you got feedback, uh, cram it. No, actually, leave a comment. We, we read them.